I don't even know if I covered this trade on my daily. I covered shop, but I'm not sure I covered this part of it. So right in here, I went long and I held through these pullbacks, which looks like microscopic, but they were 25 cent pullbacks. So it was holding pretty good. I said, as long as it don't go below the 20, I'm going to hold it. Boom. This was literally one second or less, a split second. It wasn't a full second. And you could just see me clicking the button button. I, I didn't, I wasn't even, I couldn't even have time to look, see how many shares I had. I think I had, I don't know, 600 shares or 300. I can't remember. But anyway, that was literally a second. So it went from 60, when it went from 60, 60, 08, uh, went right through 50 up to almost 60, 70 in a second. And this is why I scalp and take my profit immediately came right back. So you can see I longed it here again, thinking that hell, it just showed its hand there with that big volume. Now let it get rid of all these sellers and then we'll go again. Uh, it didn't happen though. So long in here, I started realizing, you know what? This is a head and shoulders, shoulder, head and shoulder. And the other day, I've been I've been watching the patterns lately to see if they, what takes precedence, what's happening happening here on the level two, or what's hap or or the pattern. And so far, it's been the patterns. I mean, because I've had like um, I can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, it was an inverse head and shoulders. But let's take this one for example. So right in here, and by the way, on head and shoulders. You can trade the head. The head's not normally that big. <laughs> you could trade the head uh, in case it just keeps running, trending or something. But the, the idea, the tr way to trade it is supposedly the shoulder and it drops off the shoulder. So it comes up, makes a shoulder, pulls back, makes a head, makes another shoulder like it's going to come up, traps them all the longs and then dumps off. So the way to trade it is to short it on the right shoulder. Um, after I tried to long in here, I realized it was a head and shoulders and I jumped in right here. And it, once again, the pattern took more precedence over the buyers or sellers, over the level two. So as you can see right in here, this is 60-20. So it had to go all the way through and drop down below 60. And there was a big... A bunch of buyers at 60 and 50.99 and things like that it went right through them because the pattern just completely disregarded here I mean also you can't see what's on level two because people hide but on this ladder you do see them right before they sell like say there's a 20,000 buyer right here he'll flash up there right before his order fills you'll see him if you keep an eye on it um, because this is level two, but it's also orders that are being filled. So they have to, they pop on the ladder here, right, right as they're filled. So you can hide, but you can't hide. You can hide for the long term, but you still show up right before you get filled. And there was big buyers here, but it went right through them. The pattern, this is the second or third time this week that the pattern has overridden the level two. In other words, level two, this area here told me, because of the big buyers that it was going to bounce off here and keep going up. But the pattern head and shoulders said it should go down and the pattern won. <laughs> the patterns won two or three times in a row. I'm going to keep an eye on that. 